Welcome to another video from Fashion Architecture. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to insert a CAD block into your drawing. Um, so I have a selection of CAD blocks that we've already got available for free on Fashion Architecture. Um, and we're going to look at how we put them into a completely blank drawing. Um, so the first way you can do this is super simple. Um, this is going to be really fast to show you how to do this. You just go to insert and you select a block. And then you need to navigate to uh, where your blocks are saved. So um, I would browse, find the blocks I wanted to um, put in, click open. Um, and then you get an option here to explode the block. I'm not going to do that. and I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, and then we can just click this little down arrow to see what our other options are. So your insertion point, um, I'm going to specify this on screen. But if you wanted it to be inserted to particular coordinates, you would enter them here. Um, you can enter it at a certain rotation. Again, I'm going to leave it as um, the angle of naught. You can always rotate them later, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to leave the um, block units as unitless and the um, scale factor I'm just going to put in as, as one. Um, so I'm going to click insert. <clears throat> okay, ignore that. This wouldn't usually come up. Um, and now I am getting the option to place the block where I want it. Now, this is a whole set of blocks. And as I click it in place, you can see that it's inserted it as one block. Now, if I'd selected explode block um, in that previous um, pop-up box that we had, um, that would have then inserted this um, slightly differently. It would have in inverted, inserted individual blocks. So I'm going to explode this now to show you the difference. So I'm going to select that and press X for explode and enter. And now you can see that each block is an individual block in its own right rather than all of them being ballooned together into one one individual block so that's one way you can do it however you sometimes find that okay you don't want to in insert maybe a whole set of blocks that i've perhaps put on the website that you've downloaded and you maybe want to just select one or two so i'm just going to delete that i'm going to open um, the block file as if you've just downloaded it from my website and say for example you wanted to insert this into a drawing now, it's a simple copy and paste. Um, I'm on a Mac, so the way to do that on a Mac is select the block you'd like to copy, and you press Control, Shift, and C. And then it asks you to specify a base point. Um, I, you don't need to be too particular about this, but I'm just going to click anywhere on that block. And then I'm going to go back into the drawing I'd like to insert the block into, and I'm literally going to press Control V for paste, and I'm just going to paste that one block into my drawing rather than inserting an entire collection of blocks into the drawing. And if you um, highlight this, you can see over here that we have a block reference. Um, its name is down here, FIA Lin 19. Um, so it's inserted as a proper block. Uh, it's on um, layer zero. And it's just as simple as that. So you can either copy and place, paste using Control, Shift, and C, and then Control, V to paste. Um, or you can go up to your Insert menu and click Block and follow the instructions from there. Simple as that. Thanks for watching.